Hello, uh, this is Munir Ajam. I'm gonna be recording very few short videos very quickly. Um, some of the things we were discussing in a workshop this week on the Pumba guide on project management. And usually in these workshops, sometimes we highlight differences between some keywords in order to better understand them. Uh, so let's talk about some of those keyword differences today. One, um, we will talk about uh, two concepts related that basically related to product scope and project scope uh, and the separation between the product scope versus project scope and in relation to this we'll talk about uh, WBS versus PBS. Now we've recorded the videos on this topic before so this will be very short and you can refer to one of the earlier videos probably you know on the number five or six uh, and basically dealing with this topic. It's uh, going back to the history of the Pumba guide uh, and even there has been some recent discussion online by the original author of the Pumba guide on the difference between the concept of separation between what would be considered a product scope versus project scope. Uh, so briefly, uh, obviously nowadays he's using different terminologies, but let's talk about um, at least the way we use it. A product scope is basically is uh, is, a use, is basically a picture of the final product that the project will produce. Um, obviously, if it is a facility or uh, even as a service, we can come up with a description of the characteristic of the product scope. Like, for example, if it is a physical facility, a house. Yeah, we want a house, two-story, garden, swimming pool, three bedrooms, five bedrooms, uh, ten bathrooms, these kind of things. This is a description of the product. And that, uh, so basically, uh, that will be the product scope, basically what we have to produce. Usually, uh, a, a product scope definition, including the job descript uh, description and characteristics, we can also show it on what we call a PBS, which is a product breakdown structure that try to simplify and uh, try to show the breakdown of the product and its components. And now this usually is a good tool to do on project early on. Uh, as we define the uh, requirement for the project and as we work on the project scope or the work scope that we have to do. Um, okay, so the product scope and, uh, is the final product that the project will deliver and the PBS is a product breakdown structure could be used as a hierarchy breakdown of the product into its components. Now, Projects usually, and if you look at ISO 21500, ISO talked about in order to deliver project, I'm not going to talk about managing project, you need three types of processes. You need project management process, you need product oriented processes, and you need support processes. So obviously anything related to product uh, is would be required to deliver a project. However, guide like ISO and the PMBOK focus on the project management process. So, that brings us to the topic of project scope or uh, uh, work scope or work breakdown structure. What are these terms? A project scope is typically represent the work that has to be done to deliver the product. So, in order for us to deliver a product, a house, obviously we need to do some studies, we need to do some design, we need to uh, develop estimate, we need to develop schedule. These are the kind of things we have to do in order to deliver the product at the end of the day. And we can use a work breakdown structure uh, to try to show the breakdown of the deliverable of the project, uh, basically, and the work that has to be done in a hierarchical way. So, product scope is what needs to be produced. Project scope is what has to be done to produce the product. I think this is enough. You can refer back to some old videos. Next, we will talk about some other definitions and terms. Thank you.